Hello everybody, nice to see you, nice that you're back. Christiane is also coming. She's coming, okay, okay. So what I will do, because it is Vedic hymns, which means Veda mantras, Vedic poetry, I will start with chanting some of these hymns which we also study to get that feeling, because that's what Veda is really supposed to be. Veda means knowledge, but it is pure poetry, so it is it's experiential knowledge which is also heard. I will start with these three lines here, which the translation is written here. And then I will chant just the hymn, which we will go through later on. Oh. Om Vitami Nadi Tami Devi Tami Sarasvati Abrashasta Ivasmasi Prashasti Mamba Naskriti Tue Vishva Sarasvati Shrita Ayum Shi Devi Yam Shunaho Treshu Matsua Brajam Devi Dididi Nah Imma Brahma Sarasvati Jushasva Vajini Vati Yate Manma Kritsamadari Tavari Priya Deveshu Chukhvati. This hymn, which I'm chanting now, which we might go through later, just for those who are a bit familiar with poetry and with, which might hear the rhythm. There are different rhythms, and this hymn starts with Chakati meter. Chakat is the world, the moving world, so it's the world rhythm, which has 12 syllables on every line. So usually one verse has four lines with four times twelve syllables. Usually the main hymns are Trishtuk meter, they have eleven syllables. So here there is one more. And those who know poetry, usually the, the meter is Yambik. But in this Chagati it is, no, sorry, in Trishtuk it is Troaik. That means the emphasis shifts at one point from the second syllable to the first. But here it is purely Yambik in the Chagati because of one syllable more. So the emphasis stays on the second syllable. And after these three verses, in this four times twelve syllables, there's a shift to the Gaya trimeter, which is three times eight syllables. So there's still a relation, it is yambic, but it is much more concise, short, and maybe sweeter. Three times what, sorry? Three times eight syllables, like the Gaya tree, what we know. It's the, the, that meter is, many hymns in the Veda are in the Gaya tree. And then, after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine verses in this Gayatri meter, there is a shift back to the Jagati meter, which you can feel. It's really, it's a totally different movement. And again, from short, it gets really long. And then he closes with the Trishtup, which is 11 syllables. And I was talking last time about this. It's interesting, there are, hymns where the seers apply several different meters. But interestingly with Saraswati, there is only one hymn where it's consistently one chandas, one rhythm in the hymn, as if this water, this river of inspiration, this intensive flow is also mirrored in these different meters which the Rishi uses.